Now that the global turmoil seems to have settled down somewhat, and the Janet Yellen, well, she's saying we should expect a rate hike later this year, what do we do with a high-quality packaged food name with a strong dividend like General Mills? Here's a company with a fabulous set of brands, everything from Cheerios to Chex, Pillsbury, Progresso, Yoplait, Betty Crocker, and, of course, the natural and organic business they acquired with Annie's not long ago, among many, many others. Now, General Mills reported a couple of weeks ago, and it managed to beat Wall Street's earnings estimates, delivering a four-cent topping off of a 71-cent basis. It was truly an impressive showing in a challenge category. Just yesterday, the company hosted its annual Investor Day, where they managed to outline plans to grow their business both here and abroad, including launching Yoplait in China, dramatically expanding their natural organic portfolio. Incredible presentation. General Mills is a very well-run company. Frankly, always has been for 149 years. And right now, it pays you a bountiful 3.1% yield. Stocks moving up slowly but steadily over the past month. I think you can keep climbing. Let's check in with Ken Powell, the chairman and CEO of General Mills, to hear more about where his company's headed. Mr. Powell, welcome back to Mayo Buddy. Great to see you. Good to see you, Ken. Have a seat. Yeah, great. Thank Ken, you. In, Ken, in all the years I've known you, and candidly, we've known each other for a very long time, this is the most energized I've ever seen you. You've also set elaborate 2016 goals, both for financial and for things that are going to come out of your product. Absolutely. I, I've never seen you. I mean, this is the most energized I've ever seen. Well, we're energized because the consumer's changing rapidly. We've got to change with them. So we're adjusting our products. We're adapting. We're renovating. We're expanding internationally. We're growing an emerging market. There's a heck of a lot to do out there. So we're energized. We're staying busy. All right, Ken. Uh, I grew up. This has the yeah. greatest colors in the world. This is the best tasting. You're telling me you're going to make these things gluten-free and you're going to get rid of the color and flavor and I'm still going to want to buy them? You will want to buy them. We absolutely are going Tell to Tell me that. why. Look, consumers' values are changing. There are, th there are things that they want, things they don't want. They don't want gluten in their cereals. We're listening to them. We're going to get the gluten out of Cheerios, which is the largest brand in the category. Uh, you know, 5 or 6% of the population either have celiac or they're intolerant of gluten. They're going to love us for doing that. Retailers are excited about it, so we're going to get that done. Half the people that we interview you say, could you please ease off on artificial flavors and colors? We've heard them. We're going to get those out. We're going to go to naturals. That's going to be big news for the category. So, you know, we're, we're listening to our consumers. We're renovating, changing these products uh, to make sure that they're contemporary. Now, I know a lot of people felt that General Mills uh, had, say, fallen from uh, its leadership position. You never fell from a stock leadership position. It's been a great stock yep. for years and years. That never changed. Yep. But you're, you're talking about customer first, but Ken, didn't you always put the customer first? I mean, candidly? We did. We did, Jim. But uh, frankly, the pace of change uh, in these consumer yeah. markets today is it's just it's faster than I've ever seen. And as you know, I've been doing this a long time. Right. Consumer values are changing. You've talked about this. Millennials, right. they've right. got different values. There are things that they want, things that they don't want. So we've just we've embraced this change. We've got to stay with it. So we're so we've 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 all we've set this all up around the idea of consumer first, listen carefully, hear what they say, hear what they want, and give it to them. And, and that means a higher pace of innovation. Snacks are always something we associate with things that are not good for us. You're better for you snacks portfolio has incredible sales growth. Yeah, we, we've done we've done great here. Snacking is the new meal in the U.S. Over half of all meals are snacks of 52, 55 percent. As uh, consumers snack more, they're thinking more about the kind of snacks they eat. Give me healthy snacks. We're giving them granola bars, fiber one bars, organic bars under Cascadian Farm. This is a great opportunity for us, growing very rap rapidly. Lara Bar, very simple right. organic bar. So, th so the 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 good for you wellness uh, snack is a uh, is a uh, very rapidly growing segment. What do you do for guys like me? who might just not necessarily be drawn to granola bites or toasted uh, oats muesli. Well, there's uh, food. Food should taste good, which I know. Which I, which I know. Uh, I, I know. No, I like. love the food. I mean, these, 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 are, these, it's are, interesting, these, are, these are wonderful products. Is it our palates are changing too? I mean, because you and I are of yeah. similar vintage. Yeah. Or is it because we've read on the internet that we know certain things are bad? But how you can't change? You can't teach an old dog, can you? Sure, you can. I mean, we can. You you love this stuff. You're gonna like granola bars. Fiber. We're giving you fiber that tastes good with fiber one bars. You can you can learn these tricks. All right. Now, how are you able to identify what people really like? What kind of work do you do? Yeah. So we, we do lots of polling. We study dietary habits. We, in the cereal category, for right. example, which has eroded a little bit, we look and study in detail where are they going. You know, and they're going to play, they want more protein. Uh, they want uh, f more filling products. So we're developing granolas. We're developing mueslis that right. are more filling. They're more natural. They're higher in protein. We're giving them these products, and that's bringing them back into the cereal category. But we really study very carefully. You know, if we're losing a little bit from the category, where exactly are these consumers going? And we can figure that out. Now, you're also, because of this new focus, there are places 
that need you, schools, uh, right. fast food. They're right. looking to you right. in order to be able to make it so that they're more natural and organic. Right, right. So school dietary food guidelines, USDA guidelines for school breakfast, school lunch becoming increasingly strict. They want whole grain, they want less sugar, they want less sodium. General Mills has been a leader in formulating and reformulating products that meet those guidelines. The result is we're having tremendous success uh, selling our products in schools. We had our best year ever in our food service business because we were so quick to adapt to these new USDA guidelines for breakfast and lunch. But at the same time, I, I, I have always been struck by your candor. You admitted that you didn't like for fiscal 2015. You were disappointed in yourselves. Yeah. But the, the four clear priorities of 2016, please trace them out for our, our viewers because they're so aggressive. Right. So gross cereal and we're... Which has been hard. Rich, which, which, which has been hard, but we've got great renovation on core brand. We've got good new products. We've got good gross cereal, gross snacks. Uh, which is, uh, has been a grower for us, and snacks include yogurt and snack bars, and this is a, a, these are categories that have tailwinds, lots of innovation. Uh, grow organic uh, products, which is a, a very exciting uh, opportunity for us, growing double digit, nearly 20% right. last year. Added Annie's to this, so we're gonna keep that growing. And then we had some brands that were tailwinds last year that were, that were right. a drag on us. Uh, Betty Crocker baking mixes helpers. Right. The value wasn't right there. Right. We fixed the value. Those products are gonna do better uh, in 2016. So we think we've got very, very right on priorities. And one last call, uh, your China yogurt. Right. I was shocked to see the amount of yogurt they eat there. Yeah. You think you can take Big share? Absolutely. $10 billion category in China. YoPlay, fabulous brand. We're going to have very, very high quality products. Uh, uh, the Chinese will know that this is a famous French brand, French heritage. They're going to love it. We're in Shanghai now. We're off to a great start. Uh, this is a big initiative for us. Uh, I'm convinced it will be very, very successful for General Mills. Well, I, I know that you are fired up for fiscal 2016, <laughs> and I think you're going to deliver, and you're going to give that great yield the whole time because you were always committed to growing Ab that dividend. Absolutely. Dan Metcher. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. That's Ken Powell, the chairman and CEO of General Mills, one of maybe the most iconic brand left in our country, and it's going to be natural, organic, good for you, without artificial colors. Rather incredible. Ken, thank you so much. Great to see Good you. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, Mad Money's back at the door. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.